So a new horror movie has come out straight to Hulu and it's dealing with that period of time concerning the Dust Bowl and the Panhandle of Oklahoma. And that's the type of movie I have never seen before, but also one I probably never want to see again after this movie. So right off the bat, when they announced Hold Your Breath was coming straight to Hulu and it was concerning this time period of the Dust Bowl, I was equal parts intrigued and also cautiously optimistic, I'll say. Because it's 2024, you probably know the route they're going to go when you mention the Dust Bowl. And if you're thinking what I'm explaining, elevated horror, that's exactly what you're getting. Because what you're getting is a spin on a sinister entity, but it's more of an elevated horror take, anxiety taking place during the Dust Bowl. And I will say, the first 20 or 30 minutes of this movie, pretty effective. I was locked in. Everything after that, holy shit, what a mess. But I will say off the bat, I do think the time period for this film, pretty captivating. I'm somebody who's always been a little bit infatuated with this era. Going back to this old Western, how rural you had to live, very stressful life. I am very grateful after watching this film, I grow up in the time I do now. I grew up with severe asthma, trouble breathing, so it hits home a little bit to watch these people struggle. But yeah, I need to point that out. This is a time period I do not wish anybody had to live in. Holy shit, what a miserable existence. That's my main takeaway from this film. Film. All of the horror elements, they do not work, but as for atmospheres setting up that period piece, the time you would have lived in, I think that entire thing is very unsettling and probably the true horror of this. All of the elevated stuff does not work though. So what Hold Your Breath is about, it follows Sarah Paulson playing a mother of these two daughters and they're just all trying to survive during the Dust Bowl. That's really all this film is about, survival. They're trying to get by, dust is everywhere, pneumonia is running rampant. And there's this tale of this entity called the Gray Man. Basically, it can just get through, move like ashes. It's a clear metaphor for the Dust Bowl and trying to survive, the anxiety that comes with it, you know, confusion, disorientation, all that stuff. And that's all this film is. It's trying to tackle the subject matter of growing up in an anxious time period while mixing in some sinister entity elements you've probably seen a dozen times in all of these films like The Conjuring and all of those type of scares. Except that's the main gripe of this film. It has no scary elements whatsoever. There's no tension to it. It never really wins on that front. It's nothing scary to this film so if you're somebody going into this looking for a period piece as i said earlier might get something out of this as i said the first 20 30 minutes building of the atmosphere i was locked in seeing these people struggling but anything after that when it comes to just building of the world and horror elements this movie has none of it the middle half of this movie is damn near unwatchable because it gets so slow to the point and it introduces so many different elements they're trying to tackle that metaphor from a stance of this entity then this stranger that comes by that kind of segues back to that then they're talking about the dad who's back doing work somewhere else and there's just so many elements they're trying to introduce to sell this anxiety point home it becomes an absolute jumbled mess so I don't know how anybody can really follow this movie, let alone get on board with it. But yeah, I thought the way this movie was written, incredibly sloppy. I know what they're trying to do. I just think, as usual, my gripe with these type of films, they don't nail it home, and I think it's an absolute disaster. By far, the major sell to this film, I guess, is the way it looks, the atmosphere, the cinematography. It's all completely fine. Some dimly lit rooms, dusty outside. It does get you in that atmosphere of the countryside. You're with these people. The acting is all okay, I guess. Again, you have Sarah Paulson. You have one of the guys from The Bear. They're all okay. I wouldn't go any farther than that and say anybody steals the show or anything. They're just completely acceptable. I really don't know why they even got such big name actors and actresses. Feels like that was just to mark this movie straight to Hulu, but yeah, I don't think anybody really steals the show or does anything exceptional. They're all just kind of there. But going back to my major gripes with this film, no tension, no scares, all elevated metaphorical horror, and it's just very slow, very confusing. It's paced terribly. There's one or two maybe unsettling visuals to people who are really weak in the stomach, but it just doesn't have any horror elements. So if you get nothing out of this period piece, you're going to have nothing here to go for. Also, this is the type of movie that loves to abuse hallucinations and dream sequences. It has to have about five or ten of them. Every scene seems like it's with the main character sleeping, sleepwalking, dream sequence, imagining things. That's all this movie is. So there's basically nothing based in reality. So it's one of those films, especially if you're not really locked into, you're really not going to have any idea what's going on. Yeah, for me, it did not work. I do not like films like that. They have to function in reality before they can become metaphorical. Another one of these movies that's just so far up its own ass, really can't even understand it. I also have to mention that this movie, for the most part, is about Sarah Paulson's character experiencing anxiety of trying to keep her family safe, struggling to make ends meet she's the main focus of this watching her deteriorate go down this rabbit hole dealing with this entity because it's all involving her and i just did not buy her progression as a character the way she starts deteriorating it's just not natural at all it goes zero to 100 real quick the way she becomes kind of insane and starts doing these weird actions i just didn't buy it at all i thought it was very forced to sell this metaphor home and once again 
I have to point out, this is another one of these films that's clearly an allegory. It's very slow, but it also has no subtlety to it. So every scene there's a major action in, it tells you directly what that means. It describes the gray man in a matter. Absolutely nobody can miss the metaphor. So if you like very heavy handed metaphors, once again, this one might work for you. For me, it's just way too heavy handed and I like my movies to be a little bit more smart and creative and subtle. This movie has none of that. So overall guys, I won't remember this movie in the next 20 minutes. This is one of the most forgettable movies I've seen this year. I was on board for the first 20, 30 minutes or so. I liked the atmosphere. I liked the time period, that era. Was interested in where they would go, but they did exactly what I was fearing they would. Right down that elevated horror path where they have no reality, all metaphor, boring and absolute slog to get through, really no memorable performances. No scares or tension to be found anywhere. This is not a movie I would ever rewatch. It is absolute background noise. So if any of you guys seen or heard of Hold Your Breath, I hope you have not seen it. But if you have, comment down below. Let me know. As always, if you haven't subscribed, join me down below. But that's all I got in this video. Peace.